Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moimon, my Mono Electric Run. And before we go um, chasing after our rival, we should probably pick up the um, rare candy back here. There we go, I was slightly off there and missing it. <laughs> and we're gonna use it. Okay. Kinda drop it on Chuchan and push it up to level 25. Then we're gonna go um, fight our rival and then smash the other trainers in the um, gym and take on Misty. Since that should push us up to level 26. That way we have enough raw powers to crush Misty's team, you know? Hey, I'm catching up, okay? Plus, this is a game where I'm always one step behind you, so I never really catch up on a technical sense, I suppose. Great name, jerk. Yeah, I know I named him that, so... His lack of an impressive name is my fault. Well, let's frag this bird and then finish it off with a quick attack. Nope, never mind. It got a critical hit there, so... She's dead. Well, what's the follow-up gonna be? Ratata? I don't know if that's really all that impressive. It is, after all, just a rat. You're not gonna beat me with the rat pack. <sighs> a tail whip, huh? How to respond. Quick attack. Well, that takes care of the rat. You know, if it was Master Splinter, it probably would have done better. <sighs> Poor Master Splinter. All these lesser rats really make him look bad. Well, I guess I got lucky there. Well, you're withdrawn. Let's, um, hit you with a thunder shock so I can hopefully end this fight. Huh. It's gonna actually take me three hits because that screw up. Darn. I don't understand this emphasis on physical defense, though, in fighting a Pikachu in an era where electric attacks are all special attacks. Like, there's no variety here in those. Like, they're all gonna need special defense to protect against. Ugh. Whatever. I'm gonna go with the stab move. I mean, Abra's got glass jaw, no matter which angle you cut it from. And the only thing you can do is teleport, so... It's kinda helpless before you at the moment. So I do have to ask how is Abra ever learns I'm confused. Pretty sure you're finding it at level 16 when it evolves and learns it. Though Abra's a lot easier to train in Gen 2 because you have access to Ice Punch and stuff, so... You can just be like, Abra, I give you Fire Punch! And then train it up in the, um, forest. Oh yeah, he's got to give me that one thing I don't care about. Yeah, I really don't care about the fame checker. It's one of those things I just never really use. It's like, oh, a fame checker, eh? Whatever. <sighs> Jeez, still got two more battles to go before we get to Misty. And I'm starting this recording way later than I intended. Kinda ended up falling asleep after I got enough grinding gun to actually pull off the win here. More of a nap considering it's only about two and a half hours, but yeah. I gotta try and push if I wanna get, you know, at least three or four episodes out before midnight at the moment. It's not gonna be fun. I suppose I could make up for some lost time by doing some Seven Kingdom stuff. The problem is most of the scenarios left, I don't have really guaranteed um winning strategies for. Um, at least the ones I could do right now. <sighs> I mean, I do have a plan that might work for the twelfth one, but it's a big if, because it's a really hard scenario. And even if you know what you're doing, you can still lose that one, because it's really specific with its needs. <sighs> I'm 
but for, for now, let's just focus on dealing with Picnic or Diana. After all, I need that T-Bolt. With T-Bolt, you know, Chuchan becomes a threat most Pokemon just can't ignore. Just because it's a sheer overwhelming power. I swear that Golding has one underwhelming move list. It has Horn Attack, Supersonic, Water Sport, and Tail Whip. Yeah. Not a great move set. I mean, I usually don't like having Super Sonic around because it's just not reliable enough. So it's only a good offensive move, really, is to play around with Horn Attack, because Water Sport's usually not going to help you in this gym. I mean, anyone that's walking this water gym is probably not going to be packing a fire type. I mean, if you're doing a challenge run, yeah, you'll bring along a Charmeleon for this battle, but that's the only time you'd see someone bring a fire type into this gym. And even then, they're not going to be using fire attacks. They're going to be like Slash or Scratch or something, you know? Ugh. Or they'll start throwing on Mega Punches and Kicks. Oh, I have a policy. It's an all-out offensive with electric types. Which means you're kind of at the disadvantage. At least now, because I have access to a good electric attack. And the level advantage. Um, I probably could have pulled off a win with a lower level Pikachu if I wanted to play it risky. Or at least a team of them if I kept T-Wave to try and slow down Starmie. But that required me to get the other Pikachus up high enough and level to actually be able to take a hit from Starmie. Because Starmie hits hard, man. Starmie's a beast. Like, even with a water attack, they can do serious damage to a Pikachu. Just because Pikachu has defenses that are basically like paper. Yeah. Pikachu's basically a worse version of Abra almost at this point. I can't wait till I can turn to a Raichu and actually, you know, take a hit on the chin slightly. No, I'm not sure if we're going to have to pick up um, Zapdos in this run or not. Because <sighs> it's going to be a nightmare dealing with Giovanni. <sighs> Especially since I don't have any Pokemon that can really just shred him that are going to be electric based. <sighs> so that Doug Trio and stuff? Ugh. And dealing with most of his other ground types? Ugh. It's, it's going to be bad. I'll find a way, and that way may end up being bringing a legendary, which I really don't like, but if I have to, that's what I'll do. Well, that does it for this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.